I did this one time with a gallon of black. Oh, I should have brought my brushes and stuff. I got plenty of brushes. I didn't think that. I didn't think that lid would be leaking. Did you spray a gallon of black everywhere? I had the lid and I shook it. I thought the lid was on, and the black just went. Yep. Oh. Yep. We've done you were that. You're saying that as white as. I know. It's funny. I was like, I was about ready to do it again. I thought that was sealed on the top. It's not. So we're gonna have a painting party. It's a bit revealing if you cut the sleeves out. <laughs> you only do that around the house. <laughs> so I'm priming him right now. This is, he doesn't waste any time with this. No, he, he is a speedy <laughs> What's cool about these uh, boards, these are all the uh, concrete backer boards that they use for uh, showers and stuff. And I'm putting an outdoor paint on them. And then we can put them outside, and it's a great way to have paintings that'll last for years. I'm using a real high quality um, exterior latex. They uh, are so durable. You know, most of the time you think, I want painting outside, and most people think, oh man, there's no way I can have a painting outside because it's just not going to last. But this concrete is extremely durable, it's actually made for showers. So it's never going to deteriorate. And once I get these outdoor primers on it, it's going to be a pretty painting for 20 years. So we decided we wanted an outdoor gallery. So come on out here real quick and I'll show you um, what we've got going so far. So this is going to be a patchwork quilt all the way down the entire building. We're about halfway done. We're going to do a band of paintings just above and below the windows all the way down the length of the building. Colors are ready to go and, and what I do is I just make sure that I hold the lid on good and shake them. If you like, grab some and there's brushes and there's squirt bottles and I was going to do a, a squirt one. And don't worry about getting paint anywhere. This shop doesn't mind getting paint on it. So I am, uh, and don't be afraid of using the tabletops to check how thick your paint is. This, you can see right here, that's pretty darn thin. So that is going to be really great for marbling. Well, I'm kind of a lazy painter. I don't want to worry too much as I take. And if I'm careful, I just literally pour straight. You're good. You can just pour right in. And as I said, I mix about half and half. So I always have, this is my fresh water. I never get this dirty. And then I'll just pour in. For marbling, 50-50 is pretty darn good. Put the lid back on. Give it a good shake. And I think I'm going to go for one more color. I need a dark. And and this, the great thing about these, uh, Lowe's acrylic paint says you can mix them. You could, you could take two colors and mix them right in the tube. That's a great dark. So my palette for this painting is going to be these four colors here. Four is a, four is a real nice color for a, a mount for a marble painting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of sky and ocean. So. I'm laying in a sky right now. And I just can't help but paint with my fingers. This is all there is to it. So it's already starting to marble. And I could just let that sit and say, I like the way that's marble, which I actually do. I'm, sometimes I'm almost afraid to mess with them because they're looking good. Now I'm going to lay in what I'm going to call an ocean scene. And I'm going to do a pretty light on the top. I think I'm going to do quite a bit of light on the top. So I'm going to leave a mid-range pretty light, and then I'm going to put in a pretty dark. <laughs> Oh, bottom down here. 
And this marble painting is really all about how you lay your colors down. You can, you can lay them down a whole lot of different ways. And this, the magic happens is your color choices of how you, how you lay your colors down and then intermix them. Like I'm just going to do a single line through this one here. And over time you can experiment and you really do see the ways the colors interact. I'll, I'll do several paintings in a day and, and then really get a sense of what's happening. Let's see if I can get just a little blue down through here. Now, I could just leave that and say, hey, that's going to do something that's going to marble and stuff. But I'm going to play with it. So I'm going to... Where's my... This is, uh, this is where the fun begins. See what's happening there? Actually, those chunks are going to turn out great. They're going to turn out... <laughs> You know, it's funny how life is, like, oh, I don't like the chunks, but those chunks are going to actually look like little splashes of water. Now, Susan's actually, she actually pushes the uh, yeah. boards together and pulls them apart, and uh, who is that? Mm. <laughs> That's a bug I'm not sure I want to meet. This Does. is cool right here. Mm -hmm. I like this. This is really fun. This is forest world. Mm -hmm. This is the sun. That's water world. <laughs> that galaxy is back in the distance. That is so fun. Well, that'll look really nice out on the. It's going up out there. Oh, that. Uh oh, here she goes. They can, nobody can stop at this stuff. I've seen it before. Susan, Susan will go until she's like, oh, I wish I'd. 